everybody and welcome to your next uh c plus well well next tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning on how to uh, set up sfml 2.0 on visual studio 2012. uh i am well aware that uh people like sfml code already made a video like this um but uh, this tutorial is going to be easier than that uh, because uh, instead of using the command line, we're just going to be using the GUI or the GUI, whichever one you want to call it. Uh, but if you ever want to learn how to do it with the command line and stuff like that, Windows, then SFML, SFML, SFML sorry, Coder's uh, tutorial on how to do that is very good, so you guys can watch that as well. So, so anyways, what I'm going to do is zoom in. And we want to go to Google, type in CMake or any search engine. Uh, we're going to click the download. And if you're using Visual Studio, I'm assuming you're using Windows. So we'll use a Windows installer. So click that exe right there. So then we're going to go to the SFML website. We're going to click download. And we want to download the SFML 2.0 snapshot. If you're using an earlier version of Visual Studio, then you can download the RC at the bottom and you don't need to really watch the tutorial, right? But if there is no actual uh, build for your compiler, then uh, you need to get the snapshot. So I've already downloaded these two files. So once you get the exe for CMake, just run through the installation process. And once you get... Uh, the zip file extracted okay so these are the two files that you should get so what i'm going to do is create a new folder called uh builds so just have my build files in there and you'll know that you downloaded the right sfml file if it has a cmake list text file in there so if it doesn't have that in there then you downloaded the wrong thing okay uh, so once we've uh, actually installed uh, CMake, what we're going to do is open up the CMake GUI. Now, uh, the first thing asks us where is uh, the source code, okay? So we're going to click Browse Source, and you know what? I'll make this smaller. Uh, okay, whatever. Anyway, so we'll click Browse Source. And the source is the directory where CMake list is, right? That text file I showed you. So it's just gonna be that folder, right? That we downloaded. So we're gonna click OK. Now it says where to build that bi the binary. So that build folder that I created, we uh, we want to build send our files to that folder, okay? Uh, it doesn't matter which folder you do, and if the folder doesn't exist, then it will automatically create the folder for you, okay? Uh, so once we go down here, we see the current generator set to none. Okay, so if we click generate, it's going to ask us a generator for this project. Now, normally we would click and make make files, right? But for some reason, uh, it doesn't work with me. I've tried a, a bunch of steps that people say to follow uh, on different websites, even on the SMO website, and it just doesn't work for me. So if that works for you and you click and make files, that's um, good for you. But I'm going to be showing you how to compile it through Visual Studio etc etc so we're just gonna click visual studio 11 use default native compilers click finish once you do that then you're gonna see a bunch of steps going on at the bottom right here and we just have to wait for this to finish I'm gonna pause this while it's doing its thing okay so once it's done everything we should get uh, something like this right and uh, to set to release, you can set to debug or whatever you want. It doesn't really matter because we're going to uh, be able to configure it in our compiler. I mean, in our IDE. Now, it says build shared libs. Uh, and if you hover over it, it says true to build a shared library is false to build a static, right? And this one is true to statically link the standard libraries, false to use them as DLLs. So first, we're going to get the dynamic um, dynamic dll files so once that everything's set up right we're gonna just click generate now now that we generated now we're going to go to our build folder and voila we see a bunch of files in here okay so we're gonna double click sfml
and we're gonna remove the all build the install and the zero check uh, files we only want the files that have sfml in the file name uh, if it says save changes you don't have to it's whatever okay so now what we're gonna do is we're we have selected debug and what we're gonna do is we're going to build the solution by either clicking F7 or clicking build solution right there. So we're gonna build it, I'm gonna pause it while it's built. So once that's done, you should see six succeeded at the bottom or uh, yeah. So once we're gonna go to here, we're gonna click release and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So I'm clicking F7, it's gonna start building at the bottom and I will pause it again and so once that's done we'll see six succeeded um at the bottom okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back into our cmake now we're gonna deselect this one and we're gonna select this right here okay and we're gonna click generate okay now let's go to our build folder now, uh, from we noticed that there's a new lib folder. That's what we got from our um, when we did this stuff with the building in SFML. So if we quick look, look at the lib folder, we have a debug and a release. So uh, these are all the regular debug stuff, right? And uh, this is the release stuff, right? So these are all dynamic link files. Uh, so, but what if we want to uh, statically link, right? So now that we've generated that, what we're going to do is go back to our build folder, click SML again. We'll click OK. Now we're going to delete these files again. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click project and we're gonna click properties. Um, and we're gonna go to configuration properties. No, wait. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're gonna go to configuration properties. We're gonna go to preprocessor and we're gonna see sfml static so if we see sfml underscore static there then we know that we've done the cmake process correct so we're gonna do the exact same thing again so we're gonna set this to debug and we are going to build the solution i'm gonna pause it so once that's done we'll see six succeeded and again we're gonna click release from up here and we're going to build it Okay, so once that's done, we're gonna see six succeeded again. So now we're gonna go to our build folder and we're gonna see lib, uh, and we're gonna see uh, with some file with extensions dash s dash d. Uh, so, and we're gonna see in our release the dash s, meaning that they're statically linked, okay? Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new project, uh, a Win32 console application, uh, we'll call this SFML 2.0. Uh, next, I'll click empty project. So we're gonna add our main.cpp. The code I'm gonna be pasting in here is just the uh, sample code from the SFML, uh, from the SFML website. Um, so what we're going to do is that we have a dynamic debug link. We have release debug and we can also set up, um, some other configurations for debug static and release static. Uh, so what we're going to do is in, we're going to click the configuration manager. We're going to click new. We'll call this uh, debug static and we'll copy settings from debug. And we're going to create another new one and we'll call this release static and we'll copy this from release okay uh so we're going to close this and what we're going to do now is we're going to go to project properties and we're going to go to all configurations um and we're going to go to uh c plus plus general and additional include directories so we're going to click that and we need the include directory from the 
default folder we installed it from right so this is the uh, Laurent folder so we'll just click that include folder and we'll include it and uh, so what we're gonna do is we'll click actually we'll just go to the individual one so in debug um, we're going to go to our linker we're gonna go to general and we're gonna say additional library dependencies dependencies uh, so that is going to be in that build folder that we created so build lib and then debug okay and uh, if you want to make this process faster you can go to the default folder where you install Visual Studio and then click the VC folder and then go to the um, uh, and then click the go to the lib folder and just copy and paste the files in there if you'd like to do that if it's faster for you uh, so we're gonna put debug in there right and for input for additional dependencies uh, we'll put SML graphics dash D dot lib SML window dash D dot lib and SML system dash D dot lib okay and uh, that's how we're gonna set it up for debug and that's essentially how you're gonna set it up for everything else so uh, for release so in release we will just do it and releasing the linker settings, I we would link it to his SML, uh, SML graphics dot lib, etc., etc., etc. But one thing I want to show you about the static is if I go to debug static, um, to statically link something, I showed you the static library files. Uh, we would link against SML graphics dash s dash d, SML window dash s dash d. SML system dash s dash d okay so that's to statically link it now we would have to go to C++ and the preprocessor we can get rid of all of this and we'll say SML static so we have to put that to let it know that we're actually statically linking um, SML and one thing you'd have to do is go to code generation highlight this and since it's debug we click multi-threaded debug and if it's the release static you would click multi-threaded okay so you click multi-threaded debug okay so now with everything set up there's one more thing that we have to do so uh, notice that they cr um our release and our lib uh, and our debug have dll files doesn't matter which dll files you copy from but we're going to just search for the dll files alone we're going to highlight all of these copy it now you need to go to the folder where you installed Visual Studio mine's in my E drive you go to C I'm gonna go to bin and I'm gonna paste the files in there okay uh, if you don't do that then it's gonna say that they can't find the files etc etc they can't find a DLL file or whatever so with that all that being said let's run this program and let's see if we get a green circle in the window Okay, so there is a problem. Oh, because I said to release static, I'm going to set to debug up here. So let's run this one more time. I didn't set it up for release static. That's why it didn't work. So now we get a green circle in the window. That means that we've set up everything correctly. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to inbox me or comment below. And uh, you can always ask questions on my forum at codingmadeeasy.ch slash forum. So don't, be, uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and bye.